Today I'm going to be talking you through how I charge a client. It's one of the hardest parts of our industry and it's literally what pays our bills. So it's a major part of what we do. A brief history into me is that I've been in the industry for five years and I've been running my production company Fox and Falcon for two. I create videos around photography and video and the business that surrounds them. But loads more coming on this channel, so make sure you subscribe and drop me a comment to let me know how you think I'm doing. So I'm going to break this up into seven different parts. Part one is having a fixed day rate. So I don't personally do half days, hours or anything like that. I literally just do a day rate because if I do one job, there's not much chance of me landing another job on that day that's going to be a half day or that I'm going to be able to travel to in time and it's just not going to be worth your time. I charge one day as a fixed rate. Currently, I charge £300 a day and this is for video production only. If they want photography on top, then I double charge that. I massively urge you to stick to your guns on your pricing. Your day rate is your day rate and do not go below this. Lots of clients will try and knock you down on it and these are the clients you don't necessarily want to work with. You've set your pricing where you have for a reason and that's because you think you're worth that. From my experience, the clients that try to lowball me or get my price down have always been the hardest ones to work with and it's never been fun. So my tip would be, if you can, avoid these clients at all costs. It's just not worth the hassle. When it comes to music videos, it's a little bit different. You need to know the budget because you can hire the crew in, you can do all sorts of other things, but this is mainly just for videographers, mainly corporate work, talking heads, anything that involves just you going and doing your bit. I'll be making another video in the future about quoting for music videos because they can be a bit more specialised and a lot more to them. So stay tuned for that one. Step number two is editing costs. I charge a day rate usually for a corporate video unless obviously I think it's gonna go on for longer or it's a bigger project that takes more time. I charge a standard day rate, which is the same 300 pounds. I charge the day because usually it takes just a bit less than a day and then the changes and amends and all that sort of thing come up to a day. So I never under charge for that. Inside the editing, some clients will want smaller edits. So I usually charge about 100 to 150 pounds depending on the edit. Never do any extra little bits for free because they will keep wanting more and more bits out of you. Everything is a cost. The biggest part to remember is your time is money and any time you spend could be spent on something else. So number three is expenses. I will charge expenses on absolutely everything I do. So my travel, I usually drive to most places at 45 pence per mile. Uh, it might be different in your area, but generally I've gone off of what the government recommends you pay your staff uh, if you were a full-time person, uh, and that's 45 pence in the UK. On top of this, you have parking. I try and do this on my phone so I have an online receipt because uh, parking machines can be very iffy. If you're from the UK and you're travelling into London, you have the congestion charge and all the other little bits and bobs charges, so that will all be added on top. Nothing should come out of your money for a job you're doing for someone else. Just to round off the expenses, Nothing should cost you money. Any charge for the shoot should be charged as expenses. I'm always interested to know what your struggles are, so let me know in the comments. Anything to do with pricing, anything to do with charging a client, let me know what you're struggling with and I'll try and get back to you. Number four is additional cost thing. Always try and upsell your client. Remember, you are a business at the end of the day. It's really good fun, it's a brilliant hobby, it's a brilliant job, but at the end of the day, you are in it to make money. So. Anything you can add on top, shorter edits, uh, Instagram, Facebook, absolutely anything you can add on top, little, just any asset, any asset you can sell them, may it be, may it be photography on top, maybe, it be, maybe you're just doing photography for them, maybe add a video, just try and get as much built out of one shoot as possible. Uh, lots of clients won't know that they want it yet until you offer it to them. Number five is probably one of the most important ones. Make sure you have a contract drawn up of everything you are going to deliver and everything you expect from them and everything they should expect from you. You don't want to get to the end of your project and not end up being paid or end up in a battle between clients leading to no future business and just battling your heads for no reason. Number six, deposit. Deposit is a massive thing. It's really awkward asking for money up front, but you need a 50% deposit. I always ask for 50%. I don't include the expenses into that because they're usually added on at the end. But make sure you get 50% up front 
because if the client decides to cancel, that money is locked in and your day hasn't been wasted. If you check down below, I've left my contract below and that includes the deposit bits and uh, cancellation dates and all those kind of things uh, to save you a lot of hassle in the future. Number seven is invoicing. I won't send an invoice until everything is complete and they are happy with it and they have every asset they need. They then have 30 days to pay their invoice or there is a surge charge on top of this. This is in the contract below. So that's the basics of charging a client. If you need to know anything else, leave me a comment below and I'll try and get back to you. Make sure you subscribe Subscribe, like and comment, let me know how I'm doing uh, and you should see some more videos from me soon. If you want to ask me a question directly, drop me a message on Instagram, I'm quite active on there. Thanks for watching and until next time.